Uh, let me make sure I'm getting volume. Uh. At Aspen Dental, smile for yeah, zero money okay. down with zero worries. Plus, base. Uh, check, check. How do you even start this? Never done this before. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to look at the new Streets of Tarkov trailer that just got released uh, yesterday. Well, yesterday when I'm making this video. But anyway, we're going to watch it together. I have not seen this yet. I've seen the first five seconds of it on Twitter like multiple times because uh, everyone is posting about it, but I haven't seen it. So we're going to watch it right now. All right, here we go. It just reminds me of Call of Duty, but in a, in a good way. In a in a good way like that might sound like an insult to some people but like some of the old cod 4 modern warfare era level designs those were so good this kind of reminds me of that god i want this so bad this just feels so fresh already i'm not even in there yet and it just feels so fresh there's just nothing like this currently in Tarkov. The staircase kind of resembles reserve a little bit, but that's great. New door animation? Actually like turning the handle. That looks sick. I don't know what it is. Is it the lighting? Is that how they make this look so good? Is it like new paint? New colors? I don't I don't understand, but something about it. Like that room just looked like not even Tarkov. It looks new. Same thing a little bit with this back area. Must be like a combination of lighting and color. That's so cool though. I don't, like I feel like that the handle is for sure new, right? More interactable uh objects, right? Turning on power. This looks like a like a like a life sim game. Everything looks so clean, so smooth. It's like, like, looks like an upscale studio apartment. Dude. Doge on the wall. That's a nice color blue. Seriously, if I could just... My room, I actually painted it a very similar shade of blue. Not biased. You know, you know. Let me get my background music back on. Go full screen. Tarkov, uh, Tarkov's such an underdog, right? Like, they're not a AAA company. They're in the same, like, in the same space, right? They compete with other first-person shooters that are way, way, way bigger companies, way more funding. Everything from Call of Duty to Battlefield to Valorant to Fortnite. All shooters, right? Same thing, Tarkov's a shooter too. Just way less money way smaller team yet they probably have the most unique most special game out there and it's just it's taken them a very long time to refine it and get it to trim the fat and and they're still refining and people are still we like this change we don't like this change we like this change we hate what they did here but they're getting there and honestly that's the that's like the best looking tarkov i think i've ever seen that trailer right there Streets of Tarkov, they, they've been working on this for what? Three, four years or something? Uh, Streets of Tarkov, there's like really old pictures of it out there from like pre-alpha days. They've been working on this map forever. And they've said it's like their signature map, like the map of Tarkov. And it looks like it. It it looks really good. It looks beautiful. The, I don't know, again, I don't know if it's the lighting. I don't know if it's like new paint on the walls or just getting out of forests and, tr and getting away from trees, man. Cause we have, we have shoreline, we have woods, we have customs. 
it's like every map is like 30 to 50 percent trees and grass and, and and that's fine that's okay I, I don't hate those maps but we don't have enough buildings i think that's why i like uh shoreline so much is i get that verticality on the resort i love fighting inside the resort i think people really like reserve it's got a ton of buildings you can get in and around there as well i think streets is just gonna be more more along that side it's gonna be you know close quarters combat and long range it's gonna be move from building to building room to room it's also apparently gonna be huge and it's also apparently gonna have something to do with the helicopter whether that be extracts or airdrops we don't know but man it looks good it looks really good okay uh final thoughts i think streets of tarkov is gonna be probably the best map in tarkov hands down this is like the culmination of everything they've been working on for years it's gonna have more i think they said more uh what's the word explorable buildings um more floors more rooms you can check than any other map which for me as a as a resort player i really like that i think that's gonna be great uh one one change they did recently in the game too is they made it to where thermals won't see through glass with a thermal which is apparently how they work in real life as well so if someone is in an apartment building looking out the window he won't be able to see with a thermal scope unless he breaks that glass and same someone outside won't be able to see him unless you know that that glass in between them is broken i feel like that couldn't have come at a more perfect time because i think with this map streets of tarkov there's probably going to be a lot of places to peek out of uh, i'm getting miramar PUBG, ptsd uh, but there's going to be a ton of a ton of windows to peek out of and a ton of rooms and angles to check. So just having that mechanic in where you can't see with a thermal unless you break the glass. I mean, that's going to really help. I, I know a lot of people hate thermals. A lot of people love thermals, but that's that's a change for the better. I think even uh, Call of Duty now um, Blackout. Is that what it's called? No, not Blackout. Warzone. Blackout's the old one. Warzone even has thermals react in that way. Where they can't see through glass so i think it was a good move on tarkov's part we know that there's going to be some sort of helicopter on this map um it's been joked about hinted about in podcasts before uh we don't know if it's going to be like a helicopter will bring in airdrops because that's also something they've talked about doing and i think they've confirmed at this point that there will at some point be airdrops so i don't know if that's going to be the helicopter's job or if the helicopter is going to be an extract uh but there's going to be a helicopter on the map it's going to do something we just don't exactly know what yet going back to the video i think the word i'm looking for is textures i think that's what it is about this uh besides the lighting besides the, the paint i think it's different textures that we've never seen before so i think that's just that in itself is going to bring a whole refreshing element to the game like where, where's that other room they went into the one with the blue well even this right here right like this modern looking silver black gray like this wood right here right this i, I feel like nowhere in tarkov does this flooring exists right now so i think that's what it is for sure a lot of new textures and that it's just making the game look so good the, the, the sophistication of tarkov the gunplay the tactical element deserves a map to match that level of uh professionalism and i feel like this 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 is it man this this is it this is uh this is the future of tarkov and i am super excited to get my hands on this map to get in here and probably never play any other map for like three months or something or a whole wipe at least i don't know i guess that's it for this one guys uh never really done something like this before so sorry if it was bad but this is exciting stuff if you you know i just wanted to share this with you all and check it out give you my thoughts on it i'm i love it i'm ready please i want it now that's 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 the uh official opinion of this video i'm ready let's play i appreciate you guys checking out another video i hope you are all just as excited as i am if you want to come chat about streets if you want to come chat about anything remember i do stream on twitch five days a week you guys can always check me out there uh, we love to have you so come on uh stop on by anytime i hope you all have a wonderful day and i will see you in the next one